Hi Techie guys, I'm Nand Kishor Swami and today we would be learning about automating Internet Explorer or IE using vv.net. So uh, this is also called as an uh, IT automation or automating applications using the uh, APIs. So let's get started. So go ahead and uh, open up your Visual Studio. So once your Visual Studio is up and running, go to the file to create a new project. Go to new and project. So and the select the uh, language that you are most proficient with. So I am comfortable with VB.NET. So I am going to select the Visual Basic. And the application type, you can also select any of these application type. The code will work fine but I'm gonna select console application so it would be easy to debug and I'll give a meaningful name like IE automation and click on OK so once you hit OK it would create your project so our first step is to select the API or add the reference of the API that we're gonna use to automate the Internet Explorer so simply go to my project or right click and you can certainly add the references that's also the another way so once you double click on the my project it will open up the property window in the property window you can select the references in the left hand side bar and you can see these are the DLLs those are default DLLs so now to add a new DLL just go ahead and hit add button and look for HTML control so this is the one DLL that we're gonna use just have a checkbox checked and the another DLL that we will be using is internet control just check on the checkbox say OK so once you hit OK, you will see there are two DLLs being added to your project. One is Microsoft HTML Object Library, another one is Microsoft Internet Control. So these are the two libraries that we're going to use. Now go to your module and add a reference to uh, or import these DLLs. So first one that we need is MS HTML, which is Microsoft HTML, and the second thing that we need is as such doc how the actions being performed so let's open our uh, Internet Explorer so we're gonna mimic these actions in the code so first thing is to open the Internet Explorer and to open the Internet Explorer we would need to create the IE object and to creating the IE object let's uh, create a variable called IE as Internet Explorer so once we are done opening the Internet Explorer we will need to create a new instance of Internet Explorer which is IE equals to new Internet Explorer okay once Explorer is up and running, we would need to navigate on, let's say, uh, Google. So this is the site that we're going to navigate. So let's select the site. And IE dot navigate. So we're going to use the function that is called as navigate function. and supply your URL so once our IE is up and running and navigated to a particular URL the second thing we need to do is have this visible because by default the Internet Explorer gonna open into a hidden window so let's set the visible property to true once your IE is up and running and navigated to google.com so while navigating at the same time we also need to wait until it navigate to the certain website and to enable 
wait our Internet Explorer until it is navigated properly. So we'll create another function called uh, IE ready check. and the object and we were going to pass it ie as an parameter here so that we're going to pass as by value ie as internet explorer or we can create this variable as a global so we don't need to pass anything and we will also check whether it was navigated uh, uh, properly or not for that we can have a return as true or false and the code that would work or check if the IE is busy or not is simply we can have a while loop while IE dot busy so it will check or it will perform this particular action while Internet Explorer is busy and the action that we want is to have the thread sleep. Uh, we can have system dot threading dot thread dot sleep and we can have like 500 millisecond sleep and sometime we can also check the ready check state of the Internet Explorer while navigating so that will that usually is 4 so when the Internet Explorer is ready that time the value of ready state would be 4 so whenever it is not equal to 4 it means it is still busy and we can perform again thread.sleep function or method to sleep for 500 milliseconds so it's going to take the 500 millisecond as an input so while navigating we would need to wait or have this function running so the next thing that we're going to perform is to enter some value in your uh, google search bar and hit to the Google search button and to do that you need certain control one control that is for these search box another one is for Google uh, search button so to get the proper control you can certainly hit F12 F12 to open the developer options on the Internet Explorer so once you hit the F12 you will see there is another window called uh, this designer and just click on DOM Explorer to be on the right spot to uh, grab the control or the the backend control of this option and either you can hit F12 or you can certainly right click on the control and hit inspect object or it is inspect element sorry it will also open the same window once you have this DOM Explorer click on this little arrow and drag and drop your mouse on the control that you want to grab so first control that we need is text box let's click on that it will automatically highlight the appropriate control in the DOM Explorer window so we can grab this control with the help of number of method one is by element name another one is by element id or we can also have it by the tag type or like class name i mean there are number of methods you can grab the control uh, of the internet explorer so to get the control of this uh, text box we will use the get element by ID method 
So the ID of this text box is list dash IB. So I'm going to copy it. So let's go back to our coding. And now the second uh, variable that we're going to create is IE doc. So this should contain the IE document value. It is as uh, HTML document and IE doc is equal to our IE dot document because all the control would contain inside the or would present inside this IE document and the next one is the element that we're gonna um, this text box element where we're gonna set the value so next variable that we're going to create is ie element as i s t m l element and this i element is equal to ie doc dot get control by we can use ID name tag name or the other method as well so since we already have the ID so we're going to use ID get element by ID so once we have the control in our IE element uh, variable will set the value of this control and to set the value here dot value you can use dot text you can use dot inner text you can use dot outer text you can use I mean there are number of methods so we're gonna use simply value is equal to let's search RPA and the next one is click on the Google search button and to again to click on this Google search button we need the control of this button so simply click on this little arrow here Google search button click on it and this time you see there is no ID but there is name so just copy this name go back to your code and just have IE doc dot get element since we don't have ID so we need to use get elements and the difference between getting the element by ID and name is ID is a single element because it's gonna see the name it is get element only but if you go for the name it is get elements so it's gonna return a collection so out of collection if there is a collection we need to specify which control we're gonna manipulate so we're gonna manipulate the control which has the index value of 0 and what action do we need to do click so that's it let's run the code and see how it goes and to run the code you can simply save your code and hit F11 and let's close our running Internet Explorer so it won't get confused let me resize my output window so let me resize my visual studio so we can see the code running I'm gonna hit the F11 again to move on line by line so here we created one object of Internet Explorer now we are navigating and now we're going to set the property visual to true so there we go so we can see the Internet Explorer here and the second thing we're going to do is ready check so this will make sure our Internet Explorer is ready before we manipulate the next control so here we're going to get the document entire documents and from the entire document we will get the control of this particular text box 
and we'll set the value to RPA there we go you can see now we'll get the control of this Google search button and just hit click on that button yeah that's it in this tutorial thanks for watching see you in next tutorial